Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for watching. So in today's turn I'm gonna show you this super dark and dramatic makeup look using glitter. You can choose the colors as you like and this look is special to use at night of course in a special party or event that you have. Personality I like it but for me I prefer something lighter. I don't know why, I just think it will look better on me but I wanna give you a lot of ideas to go out and recreate this look. So I hope that you enjoyed this one as well and if you wanna see how I got this look keep on watching and let's begin first as always I'm gonna prime my eyes and for this I'm gonna apply with the concealer brush the soft choker paint pot by MAC I'm gonna spread this product all over my lid below for my brows in the tear duct area and lower lash line as well And then the eyelid into my crease, I'm gonna apply the black eyeshadow base, this one is the color Noir by NYX, I love this product, but you can use a gel liner or eyeliner, any dark base that you want. So I'm gonna spread this product all over my lid using a cream color brush, and then I'm gonna blend the edges to make everything look smoky and avoid any harsh lines since it is a super dark smoky eye then i'm gonna apply a little bit of this product just the rest left in the brush in the lower lash line So I'm gonna change the brush for this little rounded one and I'm gonna blend these edges to avoid any harsh lines because I want this look really really smoked. So let's blend blend blend. It will just make the gradient of color so beautiful. It's not really necessary to blend the eyeshadow base but I like to do it. I think it gives a much better effect in the eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna use these really pigmented eyeshadows from this palette by Tarte. This is the Tartelette Amazon and Clay palette. It's one of the best for me and as it's all matte and neutral, I love it. For me it's a must. So using this really fluffy brush by Sigma, I'm gonna apply this light pinkish purple color in my crease, already blending. So first I apply it in the outer corner and blend into my crease in circular motions to create a beautiful gradient. This brush is really fluffy so it's really gonna blend the harsh lines and create a beautiful effect in the eyeshadows as you can see here the transition of colors will look so pretty So then I'm gonna apply this really dark purple in the eyelid on top of this black eyeshadow base that I applied before, I'm using a normal eyeshadow brush. I really love this purple color, it's so beautiful, but on top of the black eyeshadow it will look so dark, almost black. 
giving a really deep purple look. I love it. So I'm gonna apply slowly this eyeshadow a little at a time and already blending into the transition shade that I applied before. And also I want to avoid the fallout because it's not a black eyeshadow but really dark one. So always be careful or do your skin after. As I'm gonna apply the glitter in the lower lash line is the best idea to do the skin after or we're gonna look like a glittery panda. And then I'm gonna highlight my brow bone using the color Nylon by MAC, it's one of my favorite and a lip brush. I'm gonna apply in the highest point of my brows. Just to remember, all the brushes that I'm using are from sigmabeauty.com. You can use my code MELISSASB for 10% off in any purchase that you do. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna apply the glitter in the lower lash line. I'm gonna apply this gorgeous purple by La Bella Pierre. I love this color, it's a really nice color for glitter and to stick this glitter in my lower lash line I'm gonna use this product by Lime Crime this is the eyeshadow helper I love this product because it's white so it will be transparent and stick really well any glitter so it will not fall out in the foundation so I go applying slowly the eyeshadow helper in the lower lash line and then I change the brush to apply the glitter in the lower lash line on top of it and I go adding a little at a time section by section because I don't want it to fall out all over my foundation as you can see I already have foundation on but you can create a layer of powder just under your eyes because it will hold all the glitter and then you can wipe off So to complete the eyes, I'm gonna use the Fake Lashes Sasha by Huda Beauty. I love this style, it's one of the best for my eyes. And then for my cheeks, I'm gonna use the Love Flush Blush by Too Faced. I love this little heart, it's so beautiful. And the colors are so pigmented and amazing. I'm using the color just to find my love. And to apply this color, I'm gonna use this Paula Duster brush, my favorite. I don't know why I'm so addicted to this brush, but I am. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use one of my favorites again. I'm gonna use the color Grace by Jard Cosmetics. You can use whatever you like because you know everybody have a different skin shade and this one works really well for me so I love it you can use my code Melissa GC for any purchase in jarredcosmetics.com and you're gonna have 30% off so here I'm highlighting everywhere I want to highlight in my face in my cheekbone in my cupid's bow in my chin in my nose and in my forehead a little bit And for lipstick, you can use whatever you want. This is the color Lure. I chose this gorgeous purple by Melt Cosmetics. This is so shimmery and so beautiful. I enjoy this color so much. It's a little bit crazy, but I love it. And that's it for this look, my lovies. I really hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, you can change the lips. Science is everything so dark. Or you can change the eyes for a lighter combination of colors. So thank you for being here with me again. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't. And like this video if you like it. Also follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my work. And I see you in the next tutorials. Mwah. Bye! I love you so much, guys! Uh-oh.